The recipe for postseason success is health and chemistry. The Knicks are starting to get healthy again, and they are working on their chemistry, but there's a lot left to be desired because when you're looking at certain players who have returned to the roster, especially Mitchell Robinson, he has been struggling as of late, and that has me concerned for his postseason status. And according to multiple reports, Mitchell Robinson himself is also concerned about his status for the playoffs because he's worried about his conditioning and not being able to be the same player he was before going down with that injury. We're going to break down his latest comments and let you know exactly what he said. All of this and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Mitchell Robinson has a very concerning status for the playoffs. When it rains, it truly pours, guys. The Knicks are the last team in the league that need more bad news. We already just heard that our three-time All-Star and Julius Randle will miss the rest of the regular season and the postseason as he has to undergo season-ending surgery to repair the dislocation in his right shoulder. And as I told you at the top of the show, the recipe for success in the playoffs is health and chemistry. The Knicks are starting to figure it out, but Mitchell Robinson looks like he's struggling heavily. And you can see it when he's playing on the floor for the Knicks. Even though he's playing with limited minutes, he is struggling to look like the same Robinson he did before going down with that injury. And Robinson recently spoke to the media and he spoke about his struggles and he said some shocking statements regarding his status for the postseason and how he's going to play. Shout out to the New York Post for giving us the following information about Robinson. Robinson, now the backup behind Isaiah Hartenstein, has been navigating rust, lack of confidence in his ankle and conditioning problems since returning from a 50 game absence. He's also thinking too much about re-injuring his ankle. According to Robinson, pushing off, absorbing contact through it, stuff like that. Because obviously, no one wants this to happen again. I damn sure don't. It's something I've got to get back used to again. The New York Post continues by stating, conditioning has also been a struggle, which hurt Robinson when he returned from foot surgery a couple of seasons ago. Robinson, who has looked gas in his short spurts, said on Sunday his fitness is low as shit. But this statement by Mitchell Robinson here is the most shocking statement of them all. And this is the one that has me concerned. According to Robinson, I really don't know if I'll be back to where I was for the playoffs. I'm just taking it day by day. So once I get it all figured out, it'll be all right. Shout out to Steph Bondi with the New York Post for giving us the following updates about Mitchell Robinson and his status for the playoffs. After reading that, and hearing what Robinson had to say directly about his own status, his own conditioning, and his own play, if you're not concerned, don't worry. I'll be concerned for all of us because that's a very concerning update. You need Mitchell Robinson fully healthy, not on a minutes restriction, and being able to do the things he was able to do before going down with that injury. But as you just heard him say, he doesn't know if he's going to look like that same player he did before going down with the injury in the postseason. And that's going to be the biggest hurdle for the New York Knicks to overcome in the playoffs. Because Mitchell Robinson, whatever you want to say about him, his defensive prowess, what he brings on the defensive end for the New York Knicks is legendary. It's out of this world because no other player on the Knicks right now can give you that. Maybe Hartenstein can give you a form of it, but he can't put that same fear in the defender's heart like Mitchell Robinson can. Robinson cleans up a lot for the Knicks. And if you guys recall, when he was starting out the season for the Knicks, fully healthy and was the starting center, he was up there with votes potentially for defensive player of the year. That's how good he was. That's how impactful he was. And that's how aggressive he was playing for the Knicks. His physicality was on a different tier. And that physical Robinson, if he was able to be the same player he was back then right now, the league would appreciate it even more. Because if you hadn't noticed, the league is moving on to a more physical style of play. They're not calling everything and they're allowing more physicality in each and every NBA game. And that's likely going to be the case come the postseason. Now, while a more physical game normally helps the Knicks and benefits them, when they're dealing with injuries and you have a player recovering from injuries, that physicality does not help you. Oftentimes, it could actually hurt you. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with Mitchell Robinson. He is getting hit down low and getting banged up when he's trying to go for these rebounds, more so than he ever used to be before. 
Unfortunately for Robinson, because of the physical play that's allowed now, that's likely not going to be called. No matter how many times he gets touched, no matter how many times he gets hit, it's not going to likely be called as a foul for Robinson. And that might be a good thing because if they're in the penalty and Robinson's at the line and he's shooting free throws, we're likely not getting those points anyways. He might go one for two if we're lucky, but he does need to work on that. But going back to what Mitchell Robinson had to say about his postseason status, the one thing that he said that has me a little bit more concerned than some other things that he mentioned has to do with his ability to absorb contact. He mentioned it here regarding his injury. He's thinking too much about re-injuring his ankle. And because of that, he's not playing the same way we all expect him to. He stated pushing off, absorbing contact through it, stuff like that. It's difficult for him to do that the same way he used to because of that injury. And him thinking that if he continues to play in that same manner, that he's likely going to get injured again because he doesn't trust his ankle. When you're a big in this league, the last thing you need is any hesitation. The way Robinson plays, he blocks shots. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the game when he's locked in and focused. He does all of those things on defense for the Knicks. In order for him to be his best self for us, he needs to be able to play without hesitation. But each and every time he goes to get a rebound or goes for a block shot, you heard him say it. He is hesitating when he's pushing off. He's hesitating when he's taking contact. He is hesitating because he doesn't know what's going to happen and he doesn't want to re-injure that ankle. And I can understand it when you come back and you're coming back from injury, especially an injury to your ankle and you're a big man. You're going to want to make sure it's 100% fully healed before you're doing the same things you used to do. And I think that's what Mitchell Robinson is doing right now. He's working himself back to trusting himself and trusting his body. And once that happens, I think we'll start to see that dominant Mitchell Robinson return again. That same Robinson that is a terror on the boards, that blocks shots like nobody's business and puts that fear in the opposing players to make them alter their shot so that way he has an easier chance of blocking it. That's the Mitchell Robinson I want to see return. However, he has to work himself back into that, back into that form. And you only have a couple of regular season games to do it because after the regular season ends, we have a week off for the play-in. And then after that, it's the postseason. There's not that much time remaining or available left for Robinson to get that conditioning going to make sure he's not having any issues and he looks like his best self headed into the postseason. Right now, we have to deal with our reality, the players we have available, their status, their conditioning, and everything like that. Once we have that down, we have to make sure we're working on all of these issues so they're not an issue moving forward or at least less of an issue when the postseason hits because we cannot be in the postseason trying to work out different schemes, different offensive schemes, defensive schemes, and all of these things. Because if we're doing that and we're experimenting in the postseason, we're going to lose. We're going to fail. We're not going to win these games. You are not going to win games if you're still trying to figure out chemistry in the postseason. Because you're going to go against teams that have been doing that and building that for the entire regular season so far. We need to head into the postseason as fully healthy as we possibly can be. That means we have to rest the players that need rest. We have to play the players that need to gain more chemistry. And we have to make sure that any minutes restrictions are lifted come the postseason. I don't want to see iHeart on a minutes restriction. I don't want to see Mitchell Robinson on a minutes restriction. Nobody should be on a minutes restriction come the postseason because we're going to need all hands on deck. We're going to need these players to play as many minutes as possible and be available for as long as they're needed so that way we can win these games. We don't have a Julius Randle to depend on. We don't have another all-star to depend on. We only have Jalen Brunson as our single all-star on this team, and he's good. Some nights, he's legendary, but he's not a one-man team. He cannot do it himself. He needs help. He's going to need help from the role players. He's going to need help from the starters. He's going to need help from everybody in New York. Everybody in the New York Knicks organization, if you're available, you can play and you can help Jalen Brunson get a little bit of rest while he's on the bench. Help stabilize the offense so that way we don't lose any points while Brunson is resting. That's exactly what we need. I don't care who it is. Shake Milton, Alec Burke, Miles McBride. I don't care who you are, what your name is. If you want to step up and you want to make a difference and you want to help show out in the postseason, that's the exact time to do it. And we're going to need that help. Jalen is money. He's almost always on, always locked in, and always focused. I don't really have to worry about him. I have to worry about everybody else on the New York Knicks organization. I got to worry about Precious, about Josh Hart, about Dante DiVincenzo, about all of these guys. Now, hopefully, they ease my concerns when you play that first game in the postseason. But until that comes, 
I'm going to be a little concerned. And I don't think you can blame me. Given the status update that we just heard from Mitchell Robinson, the fact that the New York Knicks are not having their full roster available to them come the postseason and they're missing their three-time All-Star in Julius Randle, yeah, I'm going to be concerned. I've said it a number of times and I'll say it again. In order to win in the playoffs, you need to have a healthy roster and a roster that has chemistry built within. If you have that, you're likely going to go very far in the postseason. If you don't, it's going to be a little bit up in the air and a guess. And that's where we are right now. I don't know how far the New York Knicks with this current roster is going to go in the postseason. But I know one thing for sure. If we don't have a fully healthy or as healthy as possible and locked in Mitchell Robinson come the postseason, we're not going to go far. We need Robinson, his impact, and what he means for the New York Knicks on the defensive end of the floor. Without Robinson, we are going to struggle just a little bit. Now, I know some of you guys are going to tell me, well, we won some games during the regular season without Mitchell Robinson. That's true. The playoffs are a completely different level. You need everybody locked in, focused, and available. And if you're missing one person, two players, or a player's on a minutes restriction, or he can't play the same way he used to play before an injury, it's going to hurt your chances in the postseason. That's why I am concerned right now. But hopefully, with the time we have left and available, these concerns will start to subside as these New York Knicks players continue to get healthy and build this chemistry. But what about you guys? What do you think about these comments from Mitchell Robinson? And are you as concerned as I am with his status for the postseason? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.